They want to know. Hello, Curly Girlies. Welcome back to the Curly Girl, Kinky Curly Girly channel. Um, so I wanted to, first and foremost, let's handle all the business. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the videos, tap that little bell for notifications, and then also remember to go follow me on Instagram, Kinky Curly Girly at its finest. Of course, who else would it be? So really quickly, I just wanted to introduce my very first guest on my channel. It's my very own child. This is Wavy Boy J. I don't know why I like that. Anyways, y'all. So he is going to do a um, video about, I guess, about waves and how he does his hair and all of that. You see he has on his do-rag now. He wears that faithfully every day. Every day. Every day. So be sure and, and be sure to catch us on Instagram again on the Kinky Curly Girly Instagram page because we do go live um, in the mornings on our way to school and work and just talk about different things and about life and all that. So be sure to um, tune in to us. All right, Curly Girly. So the next face and video you will be see will be who? Me. Who are you? Tomorrow. Who are you? Baby boy J. All right. Bye, curly girly. Yo, what's up, kinky curly girlies? I guess um, I'm just going to show you how to wash your hair for all you wavers out there and how I wash my hair and I guess to show you what my waves look like and how I'm, I'm proceeding to have my hair and how I wish my hair could get. Um... At, like after a cut, like if you get a cut, and just to let you know I'm getting a cut tomorrow. I'll show you on how Instagram. Don't worry. Anyways, um, I'm gonna show you what products I use and all that. Uh, I use I use I use Cantu. Um, when like I use Cantu like after I wash my hair, um, just to just keep the moisturizer. Kind of kind of just. Just it, it really keeps moisturizing really good. Um, makes your hair moisturize in the morning after a, like a nap, or or it's like if you go to bed. Um, it really, it really just you know keeps your hair moisturized through the day too. You know, like unless you're like sweating it off, like I do all the time. And I use Shea Moisture. This is the shampoo, and. This is the Curl and Shine Conditioner. These are all Curl and Shine. Um, this is the Style Milk. This is what I put on there too when after a wash. Um, this to make my hair more, even more moisturized and keep the frizz down. You know, like like if you have like a lot of hair, if you're wolfing or anything like that, it keeps the hair down. Um, I use a lot of, I, I, like I said, I use a lot of products for, for my hair. Really, truly, honestly, for like, for like, you know, different, just different things like, like pink lotion. I use that for like, let's say I go somewhere and I just want to be shiny for the day or for that time. Um, not not saying it does a whole moisturizer, but it do, it does. But you know, just 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 um, just when I need to, or like I use, I can too. Actually, really holds it throughout the day too. I ain't, I didn't know that at first, but I I see if you put it on every after every wash really gets in your in your hair and really separates all the, the dryness and no dandruff or nothing. Um no build up no really no build up for any of these. Uh, it's really only build up for S curl, but you you can't put that much. S curl you really can't put that much. It's it's like um Dax. The Dax um style style pomade or whatever you want to call it. Like if you if you get it and you just rub it on your hair it's thick. So if you rub it on your hair, put your hair it honestly, it'll keep your hair down, like, after a wash, like, my hair sticks up after a wash, curls up. After I brush it, it'll stay down, but, um, it really keeps your hair down, too. It's, it's the Lustrous s Curl Wave Control Pomade. Um, I got this for two twenty nine, so it's, it's, it's really, tr truly, honestly cheap. And that's really all I use. I just, you know, got my towel, yeah. got my, get the water. Usually what I do is just... I usually do it in the shower. I usually do it at night, and but usually I just spray my hair with some 
some water. Not too much where it really drips. Um, like the, oof, sorry. Okay, so I usually just get the shampoo, right? Um, get some, get some shampoo. Uh, just, just mix it in your hand, real good, so it's not chunky. You put it on your hair. Just do that. Do that. Put on your hair first. You don't want to. You don't want to go straight to brushing. Because when you go straight to brushing, it's just going to pick up the shampoo. Then guess what? You're going to have to put more shampoo in there. So you don't really want to do that. Crazy too much. And then, and always, if there's not that much moisture, you know, you can always add more water. I think I have kind of fairly enough um, to, you know, to get the job done. But, you know, you can always just, you just start brushing. Start brushing in the way you brush in the morning or when you get ready. Just brush. Brush because when you brushing it, it still keep your waves down. Some people, some people just like like just mess it up. You can do that, but like I feel I feel it like if I do that it's gonna mess up my waves. So and it keeps my hair down and it keeps like through the night it really helps because then it keeps my hair down. And like in the day, so I won't have to add more compression like a bubble cap or, or a do rag, top do rag. But just do the back. You don't really have to look at the back. You are gonna rinse it out anyways. But when you do that, just wash. I'm just keep brushing. And if and if you think you need some more, yeah, just add some more. And I'll just add a little bit more. And when you have a feeling you added enough, then just keep brushing. Um, add some water to make it a little bit more, I guess you could say soapy, so it won't dry out so quick. There you go, see? See how, like, I don't know if you can see that, but, like, when I, when I just brush my hair and it's down because of that water, it's kind of, it's like the waves are coming in on the sides way more. You can see it way different than what you could when I when they weren't really down though. And I ain't, and I ain't putting no product in there. I would, but see, I'm washing my hair, so there's really no point. And at this time, I really get um any just spray water. Like I I I just not learned that two washes ago. Maybe spray some water on your brush. So your brush is, you know, still still add more water when you brush it. Just brush with the style inside, I call it top layer. And then when you think your hair is a little bit more delicate, from that water, it's not tough. You just get the hard side, you go over it. You're really gonna bring the shampoo out. Um, it may hurt for some people. Like, look, it's starting to hurt right now. But that's really on the side where it's faded or when it's, I'm pressing a little too hard. You can always just let up. It's hard. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to grow through your hair no matter what. So you don't really have to, you know, use all your force, you know. You just do this. Do your crown. Don't forget your crown. You might not put products. Some people don't put products on their crown. Because some people don't have it that close. But you know, I would do your crown. Wash your whole hair, and let's go back to the top layer. Just lay your hair back down. Top layer might not feel like it's doing anything, but it really is. Like y'all really should like it really comes to handy. I promise. You. Here, from here, you just want to your hands do this under the water. Keep your hair down. Cause when you do this. Yeah, that just messed up all my hair. I mean, it's gonna go down back to waves, but it's gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna have to get right back under the water. So, see, as soon as they, as soon as I brushed, they came back. I don't know if I can see that, but it came right back. So, when you do that, just, just wash it. You know, just get the water, get the water, just wash it all off. 
Your compression is has to be on point. You gotta have your durag. Your durag has to be. I ain't gonna say I'm tight to where you got a headache. Like back here, sometimes when I have my tie durag on, I put it a little too tight, and it starts to hurt back here in the middle of the night. Or you gotta wait. I ain't gonna say have lines, but you gonna have lines. Just to let y'all know, you gonna have lines over here. When you have, especially when you got, especially when you wash your hair. And so. After you after you done all that, you dry your hair off a little bit. Just put some um put some some um conditioner in there. Just rub, rub the, definitely rub the conditioner in there, especially after you dry your hair. Um make sure your conditioner's in there nice and fit. The conditioner's never really gonna show. But I just like to put conditioner in there. Now, don't never think that conditioner isn't gonna do nothing. So if you just you like when you when you have conditioner, listen. When you have conditioner, you really I've learned this so hard, but you you can't just wash it out easily. Cause when you wash it out easily, like like as soon as you put it in and you wash it out, no, you can't do that. See, that's the thing. When I learned that the, the hard way, the next day my hair was so dry because I ain't, I ain't put no moisture. And I thought that it was gonna. You know, have enough moisture because I put it in there, but it didn't. It, it didn't get to my root to my hair. So you have to leave it in there. Let it sit. I ain't gonna, yeah, about five minutes. Now, just, what I do, I put my do rag over it just to add a little bit more. Like I said, compression. You know, just a little do rag like this. More you can tie at the top. Um, you don't have to be a tied do rag just because you don't want it. You don't want it wet or something on there. Um. You know, just put the, put this on there, even for five minutes. Some people, when they in the shower or when they do it, when they wash their hair, they they just they rinse rinse the conditioner out with this. I don't do that. No, that's too much. So I just I just take it off after five minutes, rinse it out, brush it, brush it, brush it, get all of it out, and then um put my put my my uh, products in there, and then just you know go on out my day, put put my do rag on, make sure it's, it's nice and fit, and then just go to. Some, I just, I just recommend recommend just trying out different products, you know, especially now like my mom thinks I I do too much. I buy too many products, all that, and I, I you know, this I just I really just had to try out my my um the what my hair likes, like like the, the first things you should try out is what I like to call ice skin products, called Cantu and Cantu and Shea Moisture. Just try those, try the smoothies. Try the smoothies. Don't get the big bottle. You don't have to. It's like five, six dollars. But try the Cantu too. Like the cream and the, the smoothie. You may think curl enhancing and coconut curling isn't gonna do nothing for your hair, but that curling is really gonna lay your hair down. No frizz, no build up. Especially, especially these. These really don't have no build up unless you you scoop. Unless you scoop it, this whole thing right here. You might have some build up, but like if you if you being careful and just have this not even this much, especially when your hair wet. If you just have a little bit this much, it's gonna go in your hair. You don't have to have too much, you know. That's what some people get mixed up too. They think you have to just dump it all on your hair for your whole hair to be organized, but you really don't like at all. I hope you like for real. You don't have to use all your cause that that's it creates more build up. And then too, that's that's what you definitely gonna have to use a hard brush because then you gonna have to just separate all of that build up, and then that's that's like that's when the danger comes to hair. That's when, like you know, when you brush your hair, that's when all that stuff coming out your hair because it's catching lint, it's catching all this because you got all this stuff that's catching in your hair instead you because you put too much of it. So you know, just just keep it like that, and. I I get back to you when I watch all this. Uh...